hello everyone and welcome back to another painting episode brush tips with sherry where today we're going to bring some winter and some animals right into your home today we're going to be painting this super cute snow owl um, my great great awesome artist abby here she painted this so um, I thought, you know, what the heck? It's nice wintry season. Why not paint some snow owls, right? So I'm doing it on a gessoed canvas. So if you can see it, you might be able to see a little bit of stuff behind there. If not, that's okay. Ignore my gessoedness. Um, but a good tip too for when you are home and you have a canvas that maybe you don't want anymore or whatever, you can always add gesso to it or just paint it white. Painting it white, kind of brings new a whole new canvas and then you get to paint whatever you want on it. A lot of times too if you find like canvas at a thrift store or maybe canvas um, print at a regular store and you think I really love that size but I don't love the picture on it, buy it and gesso it. It's a great way to recycle them. But we're going to get started. The only two colors today that we need are black and white. Um, and then I have this Big Daddy brush, which we love the Big Daddy brush. I also have a teenage brush and a baby brush. All right, so we're gonna bounce around be between these three brushes. I have my cup of water and I have my paper towels, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is just throw some white on. Throw it all over your canvas. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to hit every spot. I did a painting already and it had some blue. So that's why I have blue water and blue in my brush. So if you see it on my canvas, it's okay. So I just throw a bunch of white on. It doesn't have to be everywhere. It doesn't have to be uniform because we just want to get a nice wet base. So. I cover it. See how I'm just kind of throwing it on. I also paint my sides and my top. So I paint my sides and my top because sometimes people don't put it in frames. If you don't put it in a frame, then at least your canvas is painted all the way around, okay? Then flip it to my side and do the bottom, okay? Now you can let this kind of dry a little bit for a couple minutes, maybe go grab a cup of coffee or whatever, let it dry. If you're comfortable, some people, they know how the paint kind of works, so they'll just go right into the next step and use the wet paint, which is what I'm gonna kind of do. I'm gonna work in the sides to make those a little bit more covered. Okay, and then my uh, lovely painters, I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna put this big daddy back because we don't need him right now. And you know, I'm gonna bounce between the baby one and the teenage one, okay? I'm gonna put one here because I'm gonna go back and forth, but you don't have to. You can just set them down on the table, on a napkin or whatever, but you don't have to walk across, I do, so that's why I'm just gonna stick it here. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the um, beak first, okay? So the beak is just a V. This is just to give us an idea of where we want our canvas to go or where we want our eyes and stuff to go. So I'm going to look at this like it's in four sections, okay? So I'm gonna imagine that my canvas is cut in half here and cut in half here, all right? And right before this half time, right here, okay? I can, I can put a super light line there, okay? So right, because I'll just blend that out. Right above it is where that V is gonna go, okay? So all you're gonna do is put a V wherever you want your beak. And I'm sorry, this V kind of goes like that, not like that. So it's a softer V. Let me add some white to it. So you can kind of see that it actually goes like this. Okay? Good? 
Perfect. I don't know if mine's really in the middle. Let me look. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, kind of in the middle, but it's all right. Okay. So there's that. So then you can see that it kind of goes up and then here's the eyeball, right? So what I would do is if you want, put your finger and then you can put a little dot where you think you want your eye to be or two fingers. Cause if you look at this one here, where the eyeball actually meets and then the top of the beak is about two fingers. Okay. So use your fingers as measuring tools, two fingers, two fingers, and then a dot. Okay. So that's where your eyeball is going to be. So then this is where I switch the brush. Okay. I'm going to get this little baby brush here and I'm going to do circles. Okay. So bring this baby brush. I'm going to do a white circle around it because that black is going to make it gray. Oh, you hear that? That's cute sound. It's a sound of a canvas and brush. Okay. Two eyeballs. If you feel more comfortable, like using a compass, you don't really need to maybe grab a quarter or something like a little jar, something that's going to be round and just put it on and you can even draw with a pencil too. Okay. There's no rules here. We get to make up our own rules, whatever we want to do. Then I'm going to take some gray. I'm just going to lightly come in and make my eyeballs gray. I'm doing that because I want to keep that good base with the gray because I'm going to shade some white in later. Just make sure they're about the same size. I think mine are right. Mine are a little crooked too. Like one is looking one is one is a little lower than the other. <laughs> this one. But that's okay. I am doing mine at an angle where you are probably doing your straight on. I'm doing mine on the side though, so you can watch. Okay. Now I'm going to um, switch brushes again. Okay. Now I'm going to come in and start to do all these cute, like little dash lines. All right. So you can do different shades of black and different shades of white and that makes gray. So I'm going to start with a super, super light gray. And I'm just going to start here. We're just going to get this, this outline base of like where we're going to kind of put things. Okay. Here's some harder ones here. Here's some that kind of go like this. These are the feathers. These are the main feathers, the main back feathers. So these big long ones here. Okay. Now remember he's got a head. So we're going to kind of pull down, but keep it in a kind of circular area. Then these ones are all going to go down too. Okay. So just keep switching it up with the black and the white. Here's like this cute little thing here. We can come here and add some, we can kind of go here. And again, you can add it, make it darker, make it lighter, make it softer, whatever you want to do. No rules. Okay. Then I'm going to start to come down the face. Do that here too. Kind of come down the face. These are fun. You can even grab some white. Soften up the eyes. My kids got to dissect owl pellets uh, this year. No, it was last year in school. And Nico, if, if, you, if you all know Nico, you know Nico. Nico, um, he's our unique one. He is sentimental. He loves holding on to things and Hopefully he doesn't watch this anytime soon, but I threw them away because it was gross. He was like, I need to keep these bones forever. I'm like, no, sir. No, no, you don't. It was so gross. I'm like, Ugh. so here I am st still kind of just going in a soft circular motion. Okay. So you can see I'm forming the head, this imaginary circle. Okay. 
Now, if you have a bigger brush, obviously, you can use the bigger brush. You don't have to. You can stick with the little teenage one. Add some more. I mean, you want to add a lot. Like, you, you want this to look like feathers, okay? If you feel like it's too dark in some spots, let it dry and just add some white over it. It's easy to do. Which is the nice thing because it's our painting and we get to pick. Go kind of small with some of them. You don't have to go real big. You can, and you can see it's almost like I'm cleaning my brush off, okay? Like I'm cleaning my brush. See how much paint I'm not adding? I'm going to come in with some white. Let's do some more white through here. And we can even start to pull this down here. Like, okay, so softly go around, add some more white. If you want, you can be cleaning your brush off in between all of this. You don't have to. There we go. That's what I needed. That's it. I needed that little brush or that, that gray to cover up that darkness there. Okay, so I'm just going to keep adding. Same thing over here. Pull it down this way. You can even do some scribbles. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure that our owl does not have perfectly uniformed all the same kind of um, feathers going on. Okay. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to come to the bottom. But why don't we switch out and use our big brush. Clean this guy off really good. Dry it on my paper towel. I need to rinse this again. Hold on. When I clean my brush, okay, I'm going to show you. This is a little trick. I come in and I put my brush all the way to the bottom of the cup, okay? And then I lightly swirl it around. I move the bristles because I want them to feel like I'm washing my hair, okay? So move the bristles around like this and then it will clean your brush, okay? Touch your paper towels. And let's get some white on here, or gray. And I'm just gonna do bigger brush marks. I gotta erase my little line that I made. Forgot about it. I'll go back up like this too. Okay. Just bounce around. Bounce around. I'm just kind of filling it in quick. Gonna go a little darker. And even up here, like if you feel that you want to add just some quick big ones, go ahead. You see how it kind of changed that? And here, here, here. Let's bring the eyeballs down. Let's put some quickies right there. Oh, he looks so angry now. Please don't be mad, Owl. All right, perfect. So now we have that big base on. Big base. We can let this dry a little. Okay. If you want, let it dry. You could blow dry it. You could take a break. You could do whatever. But it's a good time to kind of let this start to dry a little. I'm going to work up here. And rinse this brush off really good. 
I just saw a weird spot right here. All right, All right perfect. Can you still see the gesso? What's, what's funny is that what was under here was an owl painting. Uh, my teenage brush, hello. Here it is. Okay, let's do the eyeballs just so that way it doesn't look like he's angry right now, okay? So you see how the eyes are kind of flat and then round? So you could take your teenage brush if you want or you could take your baby brush. Actually, I'll do it with the baby brush for you. And I'm just gonna kind of like, we're gonna go flatter on top then rounder on the bottom. My brush has dried up paint on it. Oops, I'm sorry. Soddy, soddy, soddy. Okay, clean off. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Oh, I hope that didn't get on these jeans. These are one of my nice jeans. Boy, kinda, all right, there we go. See, I'm balancing with my pinky. You can do that too. If you're not painting on an easel, which sometimes it's a little easier to not paint on an easel. And let's see here. Let's bring these little guys down. We need to put a black dot in the middle for our eyeball. There we go, let's do this one. You know, owls have big eyes. Look at how cute he's starting to look. We're gonna bring in for the nose. And then, I'm gonna come down here too, okay? And let's kinda add some here. We're gonna go a little darker up here so we could start coming in with some of these little details little thinner spots with this little guy here. <laughs> I have this song stuck in my head now. Do the same thing here, look at, look at how cute. I always wanna make my animals like super big. All right, same thing down here. We're just gonna kinda come in do some of these little things. Make them look like feathers by making them a V. And let's see here. We're, we're gonna switch over here to, to the teenage brush for you. Yep, yep. We'll go a little one here. Maybe a little one here. So just kind of bounce around, see what you can do. And you know what I didn't do? This right here. Let's kind of blend down this eye a little bit like this. If you feel like once you start to get it on there and it's too much, you can soften it up with your finger and smear it out. Some people don't like to do that because they don't like to touch the paint. That's okay, you don't have to, okay? Now our, our eyeballs are starting to look good. Get my brush wet again. Teenage brush. And we're just gonna start to make the different grays now. So do some cute here's, some cute here. Maybe some cute ones here. So see how I'm just kind of bouncing around. They don't have to be perfect. They can be whatever you want them to be. You can even add some color in here, like if you had some blues or maybe yellows if you wanted to, but snow owls are black and white, gray. Sometimes I make my owls look kind of gremlin-y, so I do get nervous with that. Just soft, just being soft. Okay, there is a lot of gray around his beak, so you can kind of, okay. 
soft, even here. Gonna add some white, more white. Give them some of that little like chest puffies where they do the, I don't know what they call that, like the breast part of the owl. Can even make your owl's feathers kind of go this way too. All the ways. I just went over that black, but I'll just bring it back. Now I'm just going to kind of scribble some feathers on there. See how I did that? And let's do a little scribbly feather here. Okay. And let's see here. How's it looking on your end? Good? Does mine look like an owl? Because if it doesn't, then hopefully yours does. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm kidding. We want them all to look great. So he's got like this cute little like thing there. And another cute little guy here. Look at, he's so cute. And of course, we always want you to name your owl. So now is a good time to start thinking of his name. I don't, I don't even know what this guy's name should be, but if you have suggestions, feel free to go to the brush tips page and suggest it because I don't know. Go softer also. Go softer. I mean softer by like these little tiny dash marks, okay? Same here, same here. Ah! That's all right. We'll come in with some white and clean that up in a second. We are going to bring some more here. And some here. Perfect. Soften up the eyes. I'm going to bring some more just white in. It'll still blend, but it'll just soften. See how it just brought some like brightness around the face? And that's just plain white. Take care of that little, that poor black spot that I messed up on. Perfect. I'm gonna have to take a step back and look because I feel like that owl's way owly and this one is way gremlin-y again. But that's okay. It's hard to paint like at an angle if I came in. Here we go. Okay, we gotta fix these eyeballs. I'm gonna stand here and fix the eyeballs because, because my brush is gonna be all black here. Hold on. Get all that paint off. There we go. Okay, I'm going to soften up these eyes. I'm actually going to do these eyes. So these ones are the tricky part. This is where we kind of want our painting to come to life. Okay, I'm going to do maybe more. Um, this isn't uh, white because I'm out. Oh, wait, I have a little bit here. Then I'm going to come in. I'm just going to softly shade a little white around it. Oh, you can see it. Okay, you can. I'm trying to just come in at a different angle so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to come in and do my nose. And again, the nose kind of goes like this and like this. There we go. I don't, oh, I don't always paint at an angle. I know people are always like, I watch the show. You're so good at painting at an angle. I'm like, I'm not great. Like, especially in situations like this, but I'm good at painting, so. Most of the time, anyway. And I come around here, 
come around here. You can always pre-sketch an owl too. All right, you don't have to like add a little darker. You don't have to, um, you know, follow this design. You can always just pre-sketch the owl. This guy is so, he's so cute. I'm gonna come in with a couple little darker spots. We're gonna bring this like little beak area kind of down. Bring in some gray. Bring in this little angle here. Make sure you keep the head separated from the body enough. All right, and then once you're happy with your owl and you absolutely love it, like mine's starting to look pretty good, what I want you to do is remember that you have the most amazing masterpiece and I want you to sign it. I want you to own it. So what I do is I just grab my initials, I get my brush, and, and, and I do this. And then I'm gonna have to show you something with the eyeball because we're gonna make them come to life. But I'm just going to throw my initials on. Mine are just CM. And then I take white, really quick, flip my brush over, then I boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna do three little dots, just like that. And your eyeballs are complete and your owl looks amazing. And thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me and being creative. Thank you. You are watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.